Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. This gonna be the very first video of mine after moving from Bangladesh to USA. Here right now I'm staying at Florida and things are not been organized yet around me. However, I still feel like making this video for you guys because of your continuous support, dedication and love to this channel called Laplan Coder. Let me tell you that today's video is all about identifying the duplicate value from the attribute table of your ArcGIS. This is one of the video that uh, I have got a lot of messages to make it and it was promised earlier by me. So stay connected with me till the end of this video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you guys still had not. So without further delay, let's just jump into our tutorial. So first of all, uh, before things getting started, let me just walk you through the interface as usual. I'll be using ArcMap 10.6 for this tutorial. And for coding purpose, I'll be using Jupyter Notebook. Uh, I mean, it's a product of Anaconda. So this is a combination video from Anaconda, I mean Jupyter Notebook and ArcGIS. So having said that, the next thing comes up to introduce you with the data frame that I'll be using for this particular tutorial. Let me tell you that this is the EA boundary, I mean enumeration boundary, which is nothing but the small area of out of larger area. So this is done particularly for population census 2021 and each of the enumeration boundary has been assigned with a specific value and as it's been collected by the human being so they are very much presumably prone to make mistake and that mistake nothing but putting the repeated value in the data frame. So today's my today's task is to identify, I mean to detect those value uh, not manually but within a very short time using Python code. So now let's proceed on to expedite our mission for a quick remedy of manually cumbersome issue. I mean searching for each and every duplicate value in your attribute table is not only cumbersome but uh, also, it's a very, very demanding work. So to avoid it, to get rid of it, we just need to go to the EA boundary attribute table and create a new uh, field and attach to our table. To do so, as always, I want to admonish you that you need to put off your editor table. Here is already put up, so I will have no hassle, I guess. So let's just create a new fill and attach it. Let's name it a dupe one. And type of value should be text. Bear in mind, look at this. There is a new field had already been attached and created, created and attached. So uh, my column, I mean, the kind of, uh, column I will be working on it that is e a boundary UID so look at these here already some duplicate value uh, the first one and the second one and uh, later on if you go ahead you might have encountered some more duplicate value but we can do that we will detect it using Python scripting so to do so, first of all, we just need to go to the fill calculator. And here we will click on from VBScript to Python. And here we have that sh uh, show code block, I mean Python console. But if you just go ahead writing your raw code here, sometime it creates some issue because of indent uh, indentation. So to avoid it, we will just use, uh, I mean, Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda. Let's go ahead, click it, 
it will take time okay and here just go to the python 3 and you will get the interface ready for you now you will begin scripting your code there are some steps that you need to follow me for the successful completion of these codes first of all we will just create an empty list so let's name that list is d list d for uh, i mean distinct list unique list so d list to create an empty list we'll just put the uh, third bucket here now we have created the D list I mean distinct list now the second step is to create or to declare a function so a function starts with a conventional word called def so that is the def now let's name the function as the uh, is view okay I mean whether the uh, list is uh, duplicate or unique okay now uh, another variable that will be the component of the D list put a semicolon put a column here now I'm gonna uh, call upon the if conditional if x in the D list okay I'm not gonna write manually I will just copy and paste here to avoid the uh, misspelled so put the colon here once again and return x this is a part of the condition it means that if at x in the D list return X that means all this mean uh, the duplicate value all this mean uh, to bring out the duplicate value now I'm gonna call upon another uh, keyword else okay and here this part will be working as uh, the unique value I mean if uh, this part does not work at all then else part will be working and bring out the result so here if x in the dlist return x otherwise else in other word otherwise uh, dlist append append x sorry x it means uh, if this part does not happen then x should be added to dlist and eventually it will create a unique a unique list one part is left here and that is a return return uh, a null value to to see a null value in the outcome we will just follow this to uh, double inverted comma there is an space there is a space between that and that and that means uh, it will uh, breed it will bring out and it will result in uh, a null value now we are all done as we started a function and name the function is dupe, is dupe dupe then we must call upon by saying or by calling by naming that name so now I have to 
uh, get a line in the same indentation as def is. So um, the function name is group and here sorry okay what I'm going to insert in this uh, first bucket is very very important to know that should be EAUID because that's my desired field to work on I won't go to write it manually again because of uh, avoiding misspell I will just copy from here where is the EA boundary go to the property and just copy it come back and paste it one thing you just put the exclamation sign in both side okay it's a very it, it's a convention it's a convention for Python now we are all set to go we'll just copy this part and paste the show code block part okay make sure you click on Python put here mm, sorry clear once again okay now second part we will be copying and past year one look at this we are uh, working we are getting the result in dupe one this call okay so everything looks fine despite that let's have a revision look let's have a revision mm, okay 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 everything looks fine let's go ahead and click it okay look at this there are four subsequent values which were repeated uh, in our column called EAUID uh, for our better visualization let's put it in a bigger screen look at this these are the four values which are repeated let's cross it cross check it uh, one of them from uh, 25193 25193 it repeated at least twice it might have repeated I mean thrice also if I just go down and encounter some more values similar to this uh, also I mean 25198 25198 and also 25197 so these are the four values we have easily detected uh, I mean using Python script scripting uh, instead of just searching for manually so this is all about uh, I mean Python magic you can follow it it will save your time and it will build up a strong skill uh, for your better future that's all for the time being I hope you guys have liked my video if you have, please do subscribe to my channel. I will come up with another new video. Till then, bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.